What a hose head. Oh wait, that's his name? Hey! What's up my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fan's hobby, Cap! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have a lovely image of Cap in his robot mode, in his old mode on this side we have Cap, on this side we have Cap up top, hey look, Cap on the bottom, hey look, Cap on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this set, the other things and stuff, and that's basically it for... The packaging, also included, is the collector's card, with a nice image of Cap. On the back we have Cap, and we have Tech Specs Hooray for Carts. And moving right along, here we have Cap, and this is Fans Hobby's take on Hosehead. And here he is, in his alt mode. Yes, he was packed in alt mode, because Fans Hobby knows how to do it right. They know how to pack them the right way, pack him in alt mode. But yes, here he is in his alt mode. He's just a cute little fire truck. He is just, he's just the most adorable little compact fire truck I've ever seen in my life. That is just adorable. That is just precious to me. But anyway, here he is in his precious little fire truck mode. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see you got the transclearing plastic right up front there. For the headlights, you do have stickers. Um, I'll show that off real quick. You get a uh, sticker sheet. You can say you can use the stickers or not, totally up to you. The only ones I don't use are the uh, the license plate stickers, but otherwise, use whatever you want to use. But yeah, the front bumper is done with a, uh, a silver sticker there. If you don't want to use the stickers, you can always paint it. Totally up to you, as always. You always display however you wish. You have a very dark, transclearant um, windshield and windows. You have the side view mirrors here, which do have some silver on them. The hubcaps also have... A nice silver. You get some white and silver here on the sides. That right there. Just some sticker detailing back there. You got the little ladder here. That's a sticker, sticker, sticker. Again, use them if you want. Don't use them if you don't want. Got some silver there as well. Some more silver. Some silver and some orange back there. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He does have rubber tires. He rolls as rolling things should. He rolls very smoothly. As rolling things should, hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. Guess you can get a sense here of the size of the figure. And here he is with the other two. You can get a nice shot going here. And they look quite, quite nice together. Quite! Quite nice here, so there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get his weapon here, which is already all compacted up. You can just bring down the handle and extend the barrel, and that makes his gun right there. Just done it all in black with some gray there on the side. You just collapse that in, fold up the handle, and you have that ready to go for storage. Uh, you do also get the uh, little helmet piece there for the Headmaster, and of course you get the Headmaster itself. That's it. Very nicely done. Nice bright blue there for the eyes. You get some silver and red there in the chest. Overall, looks quite nice. We have the upside down face on the back, as they all do. Um, articulation wise, you had can rotate. You don't really get any wiggly waggly, but you get rotation. Arms can rotate, can move in and out. You get the elbow joint, 90 degrees of elbow bendage there. You get ab crunch due to transformation. Legs can go forward, they can go back, outward. Not so much, not so much rotation. You get a little bit at that ball joint there. Knees. Full range of movement, and that is pretty much it. And just for a quick comparison, here's all three of them together. So you can see how they look, and oh, they look quite nice together also. Brush us, brush us! And of course, everything can store on this precious little fire truck here. We'll start off with the helmet piece. You can open up the back here, and you have this little angled tab right here, and that's going to sit in this little groove right here in the helmet. So you're gonna slide it in uh, sideways. 
and it will just slot in like that. And it won't fall out. You can close that up, and there's your storage for that. Um, as far as the gun goes, you just raise up the ladder, and there is a tab slot connection right in there. So you just drop it down and press it. Nope, I have the wrong way. My bad. You're going to do it this way. This way with the handle facing back. My bad. And that will just. There we go. That will just tab in like that. Just fill in that gap. Bring that down. And there you go. Now, as far as our headmaster goes, you can just open up the front here. You can see you actually have two seats. You can put two headmasters in there. And I love the detail they added to the, uh, to the front here. You get like a full like dashboard and everything. Even a little steering wheel that can move. And you get some little sticker detailing in there as well. A sticker right there and a sticker right there. That's pretty cool. You can take your headmaster. There, oops. Don't pop his legs off. That's not part of it. Now get your headmaster in a seated position. Just sit him down there. Close that up. And I don't have him in the most comfortable position here. There we go. You have to make sure everything's kind of out of the way so everything can close up. There you go. You can kind of you see it in there. There you go. <laughs> so everything can store away into the precious little fire truck. Um, as far as features go, uh, the ladder itself can extend. It can raise up and down. Got these little cannons up front that can angle up and down if you want. So, hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But yeah, that is basically it. For the alt mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let you can get a decent spin, even with the rubber tires. So, first thing we need to do is we need to uh, remove stuff. So, get in here. You need to get out. We have to decide for now. Come back here. We need to remove the uh, helmets, helmet piece here. Put that off to the side. And we need to remove the gun. Now, this gun, this goes in here very securely. You're gonna need something to pop that out. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Just pop that out. There we go. And now we can commence. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here, open this up, raise this up. You're going to then take these panels. My tongue stops working. Take these panels here, flip them back like that, and then just kind of give all this a tug. So you can undo these tabs here. Those little tabs that go up in here. So undo that, and then you can flip these panels up like that. And once you've done that, you can just extend the legs down. Make sure all this comes, comes untabbed as it should. And extend the legs downwards like so. And you can split the legs, and we can get these all transformed up now. So the first thing you're going to do here, take the feet and bring it down on that hinge right there. The seat, the seat, as you can see, has like a ton of hinges, but the instructions just say to burp, do that. So I don't know. There's a lot of hinges there on these seats. I don't know why, but they're there. There are reasons. You know, reasons. Because reasons. But anyway, just bring the seat up like that. Then you're going to take the wheels on double hinge, just collapse it up like so. Once you've done that, you want to take this panel and you just want to swing it down. So you have the clearance to collapse this down and then you want to swing this back up. Once you've done that, you want to bring up the foot on this bottom hinge here. Like that, and then rotate the foot out a quarter of a turn. Close that up and then you can swing this back down. And then you can close all this up and then you're just going to collapse the leg in. Which is quite stiff. Come on, come on, there we go. Collapse that up like that. And there you go. So, last thing you're going to do here on the leg is you have this little section of the foot that just expands outward just to fill his foot out a little bit. And there you go. And there you have a leg all done. Second verse, guess what? It's just like the fast. So, bring that foot down. Bring up the seat. Bring up the wheel. Like that. And rotate that down so you can bring that down. So you can then rotate this back up. And then bring the foot up, rotate it out, close that up. 
swing this back down and close that up. Collapse the leg. There we go. And also rotate these little side view mirrors in if they haven't done so already. And, and just extend the sides of the feet out. And there you have the legs all done. And now we move on to the upper body. So what we are going to do here is we can just kind of bring this up, get it out of the way. You want to take this panel here, untab it, and swing it forward and then rotate it down. This little section here gets flipped in, then all this gets flipped up like that. You gotta take this panel here, this white panel, flip that up, take this panel here, flip that up, and extend the arm like that. You gotta do the same thing on the other side. And bring that around, rotate that down, flip it up, flip it up, flip this over, lots of flipping. Flip that up, flip that down, and flip that up. And we are on our way. So, next thing we're going to do, come up here, you want to open up this back, and you want to take this section here, untab it, and bring this all the way back, up and over, and then all this will just tuck in here. Close that up. You can then bring all this up, like that, and you have these sections here, which will swing up and over, and swing up and over. You get some detail that gets revealed with some nice silver on it. At this point now, you can bring these panels over the shoulders and bring the arms forward. You want to make sure you untab them from this section here. Bring the arms forward and they will kind of thoop into place. Then you can rotate the arm out, rotate the hand out, rotate the arm, rotate the hand. And also we can rotate the waist. And we're getting there. So the ladder, you just want to bring down, flush against his back. Bring all of this down against his back. And then these sections will just rotate up. You have a tab here, you kind of have to flex around. You don't have to flex too much, just a little, just a little minor flex, just get around there. I'm not a fan of flexing things around things, but it's, it's minor. So I can live with it. But there you go, there you have the main body all done. But now he needs a head. Oh Lord, he needs a head now. So, we bring the headmaster in. Stop with the leg popping off. Stop it. Stop it. So, headmaster, I mean, transforms as headmasters do. Just kind of use that ab crunch there. Fold the legs up. Fold the legs up. Turn them upside down. Bring in the headpiece. That will tab in right there. Boop. Yep. There we go, like that. Plug the headmaster into the port. Snap it into place, and there you go. There you have Cap, AKA Host Head in his robot mode. Hey, looking good, a nice solid design. I quite dig it, I quite dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his abs, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, got nice silver for the face there, metallic blue for the eyes. Get some silver in there. Again, you got stickers, you can use them if you want to. Don't use them if you don't want to. Got stickers are in the forearms as well. Silver there for the abs. Well, some gray here on the sides. Get some more stickers here on the uh, crotch bases. Get some gold stickers there on the knees. But again, all those are optional. And his big old beefy legs. His big old feet. And move the back. We do have a bit of a backpack going on there, but overall, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, um, the head... 
He had some wiggly waggly in there. Wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. If you maneuver around the backpack, arms can move in and out. You can have them moving outward with that transformation joint if you need them to. Um, then you have your outward movements. You have bicep rotation. You have uh, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation. Uh, the hands can open and close. The index finger is a separate piece and the other three fingers are just one piece molded together all with just one hinge at the base um, we do have waist rotation you also get an ab crunch uh, you can move panels out of the way to accommodate the leg movement legs can move forward that far back that far outward eh, that far you get thigh rotation you do have a double jointed knee, but you only get about 90 degrees of bend out of it just due to how thick his legs are and the feet. Um, they can't really move up. They can move down like a click if you use that ratchet. And you do have ankle tiltage and you also have rotation. And of course we can give him his blaster here. Just bring down the handle and extend the barrel. And it uses that rail system, which again, I love so much. Why isn't every company, both official and unofficial, using this? Because it works so well. He can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. All the pew, pewing. All the bang, banging. And of course, one last thing we can do is we can open up Cap's chest here. And we can see his split strength. There's the split strength meter. And the headmaster doesn't actually activate this. You can see it's just it's the chest piece itself that brings us up. That's what activates it. There you go. There he has his uh his split strength. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with masterpiece side swipe. Again, just you can get a sense of the scale of the figure. And here he is with. The other two get a nice little group shot here. And hey, you stand, you stand because it's normal. There you go. Get a nice group shot here. And they will you stand, please? We used to, hmm? there you go. And they do look quite good together, so there you go. So there you have Cap, and yeah, another nicely done Headmaster here from Fans Hobby. Um, the uh, fire engine mode is just adorable. I love it. Um, the robot mode looks really good. The transformation is smooth, fluid, fun, enjoyable. All around, just a uh, solid, fun figure in my opinion, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Hobby's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the fans hobby cap and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud palm in your face hose head reporting for duty sir hose head oh you you another one of those firefighters yeah no oh, well um i already have one of those yeah he already has one of those Hi, I'm one of those. Well, I could handle the small fires. He could handle the small fires. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Handle my light work. Well, there you are. You're in charge of his light work. Yay, light work. I have no idea why I'm happy about this.